What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another edition of the Morning Edge. Happy Thursday. We have four of our best bets for you guys this morning, as always. JT, hope you're feeling better. Got you back on the show. Now you got your two bets for us today. What are you looking at? Uh, so I'll start with the day game. I'm going with the Rockies on the money line. I'm getting that at 131. You got Sensitalia and Sanchez on the mound. Um, you know, I'm going to back the Rockies at home a lot this season. I love the lineup that they have out there. I like what they're doing. Um, especially, I mean, they're, they're hitting well away from the park too, which, you know, like, hey, I think it was last year was the worst. But the year before that too, everyone talked about how terrible their splits were in the home away field and things like that. Uh, we don't really see that a lot with them this year. Um, Colorado's staying in the sticks very well. Washington is not a good baseball team. They came in and they kind of worked them in the first game of the series. Rockies got back last two, 5-2. I think they take the series in this one. Uh, it's a pretty simple one. There isn't really too much complicated, much of a read to it. I, I just I love the way the Colorado's playing ball, and I'm going to take them uh, with that advantage on home field a lot this year, especially against uh, you know an inferior opponent like Washington. Other one I'm going to. Uh, New York Rangers on the money line tonight. This is a must-win game for them. Uh, you know, I kind of think they got that other game stolen from them the other night. You had a 2 nothing lead. Penguins storm back. Obviously, they have all the offensive talent to do it, but then you have that go-ahead goal called back, and then you lose in triple overtime. Um, it's demoralizing, guys. When you go to that triple overtime, it's not like, you know, regular season hockey where they play 15 extra minutes. They just played, you know – Five and a half hour hockey game and lost. Uh, so Pittsburgh feels great after that. New York doesn't. Sturkin had an amazing game. Um, they they got to win this one. You can't go to Pittsburgh down 2 0 and win this series. So uh, this is a must win game for the New York Rangers. They have a playoff run this year. So uh, with that said, I'm on them. All right. I love it. I'm going to go to the Diamond early. Uh, this game's at 1 35 Eastern time. So make sure you guys get this in when you watch it early. But I'm going to go with the Red Sox money line here. Uh, just getting good value at 130, I think. You got Otani versus Rich Hill. So the Otani factor obviously is going to make the Angels a favorite, but he has struggled uh, as of late. And I think this Red Sox lineup can get to him, uh, especially up front with Bogarts, Endeavors, Story, those guys. I think that they can give him uh, some issues. And this is a friendly ballpark to the hitter, as we know. So I think Boston gets it going a little bit. Rich Hill, despite – Kind of the narrative that he's done, uh, he's actually had a decent year. He is the comes in as the better pitcher in this game, uh, surprisingly enough, in 17 innings with an ear rate just uh, north of 3-5. So he's been real solid for the Sox. I think it's going to be a high-scoring affair. Kind of a crazy game last night. The Sox blew it late, and I think the Angels hung up like six runs in the top of the 10, something crazy. So I like a bounce-back spot early in Boston. They kind of got to get things going. They're 10-15 and 15 at the moment. So they're looking to kind of turn their season around. I think it's a good spot here. I think Otani's being overvalued here on the market. I don't think he should be priced at minus 150 the way he's throwing the ball. And then I'm going to go with a little bit of a square part of life. They go down 2-0 on home ice. Washington's done their job, right? They went into Florida. They stole one. Uh, so this is going to be a desperation game from the Panthers. They don't want to go back to our nation's capital down 2-0. So let me get the Panthers down in the money line and then. I don't think the Avs are going to have any competition here in this series. I mean, they, it was an absolute bloodbath that first game they played. Uh, we had them on the puck line. I think they take this pretty easy. I think that both of these teams are really good parlay pieces tonight. And we get it at minus 134. I don't love the price, but I think it's a decent price, uh, as good as these two teams are. are for? That's what I mean. I yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I think we're getting a decent enough price. All right, guys, those are our four best bets. As always, if you want to throw them together, JT could take a little parlay and take us home. Yeah, throw them together. Nice little parlay. God, today looks like a decent little parlay. I like it. Okay. But, uh, yeah, guys, happy to be back. Let's crush this Thursday slate and get after it this weekend.